Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, and praise the Lord. Welcome to my channel. On this channel, we pray, we study God's Word, and we provide tips to help you live the Christian life victoriously. If you are not a subscriber and you believe one, two, or all three of those things can help you, please hit the subscribe button so that you can stay in the loop on when new prayers and videos come out. Also, I pray for each and every subscriber every single day. So please hit the subscribe button. And if you are already a subscriber, thank you, thank you, thank you. Today, we are going to pray for your personal struggles that you are experiencing. As we close out 2020, how many of you are tired of struggling? Struggling in different areas of your life, whether it's personal, professional, financial, emotional. How many of you are ready for a change going into the new year? I woke up this morning with this prayer on my mind and my heart. No more struggle. Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I lift up every single precious woman who is listening to the sound of my voice. And Father, we say we need you, Lord. We need you, Holy Spirit, because we cannot go another day, Father, doing things on our own. We pray against the spirit of defeat, despondency, despair, and we declare that the struggle is over. Father, we declare that we're not fighting for victory, but from a position of victory. You died for our victory, Lord Jesus. And because you died for our victory, we don't have to struggle. So, Father, I pray for breakthrough in these ladies' lives so they're not struggling in 2021, struggling to pay their bills, struggling with their kids, struggling in their marriage, struggling in their emotions. We come against all of that in the name of Jesus, and we pray 2021 will be different. Father, we need you. We thank you that the peace of God, Isaiah 26, 3 says you're going to keep us in perfect peace because our minds are stayed on you. And because our minds are stayed on you, Lord, we're not going to struggle. We're not going to be in doubt. So, Father, we won't struggle with our own ability because we know all ability we have comes from you. Thank you that the favor of God is upon us. So we're not going to beg and borrow. We come against the spirit of lack. We come against the spirit of defeat. We come against generational curses trying to hold us down. And we say we're not struggling anymore in 2021. And so, Father, we cry out to you, Lord Jesus. And we say, Father, we have a blood-bought right to peace. We have a blood-bought right to joy. We have a blood-bought right to prosperity. We have a blood-bought right to what you have for us, God. And so we cry out to you for it, Lord. Thank you in advance, Lord Jesus, that no weapon formed against us is going to prosper. And every tongue that rises against us in judgment, you will condemn. Thank you, Lord Jesus. The Bible says, uh, if I shall decree a thing, it shall be established. The Bible also says in Proverbs 3 and 4 that we have favor with you and man. Thank you, Lord. The Bible tells us in Luke 10, 19, we have all authority, all power to tread on serpents and scorpions and nothing by any means shall harm us. And so, Father, the struggle is over. Thank you that we have hope. We have faith. We have joy. We have peace. Thank you that we won't go into 2021 struggling because of the government, struggling because of politics, struggling because of our job. It is over in the name of Jesus. It is over. We are new. The Bible says in John 8, you have set us free. Therefore, we are free indeed. And the struggle is over. We believe, we receive everything you have for us. Hallelujah. It's in the name of Jesus we pray. Amen. Amen.
Amen. Thank you for joining me. God bless you.